तो हेलो एवरीवन वेरी गुड मॉर्निंग एंड लास्ट लेक्चर्स आई हैव डिस्कस्ड अबाउट पर्टिकुलरली आई हैव गिवन ओवरव्यू अबाउट ट्रक डिस्कवरी एंड डेवलपमेंट बेसिस सो इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट मोस्ट कॉमनली यूज्ड कंपटीशनल टेक्निक्स इन ड्रग डिस्कवरी एज आई टोल्ड यू अर क्लियर कंपटिशनल टेक्निक्स आर नाउ इट इज वाइडली यूज पर्टिकुलरली इन द ड्रग डिस्कवरी टू सेव time as well as the money uh, and these techniques are very useful to screen large number of compounds and it's uh, in early phases of drug discovery maybe you have identified uh, one lakhs compounds lead molecules so practically it's not possible to synthesize all these molecules in the uh, lab and then test all these molecules in uh, under in vitro condition or in vivo condition so uh, before doing that once uh, now companies are what they are doing they are screening these compounds against particular targets uh, using uh, computational techniques so uh, the most commonly used computational techniques uh, are docking studies uh, homology modeling molecular dynamic studies qsar studies computational toxicology computational pharmacokinetic studies so these are the some of the most commonly used uh, computational technique used in drug discovery uh, in drug discovery so uh, first one is docking studies uh, as you can see docking studies uh, actually particularly uh predict the energetically favored binding conformations of ligand in the active site of particular target and target can be anything your enzymes your receptors your dna rna whatever so these docking study actually predict these energetically favored binding conformations of what ligands and in the active site of particular target so uh, these uh, techniques particularly uh, particularly docking studies predict the uh you can predict the binding affinity if you uh, if you recall in basic pharmacology uh, whether the molecule is agonist or antagonist it should have the ability to bind with that particular target so binding affinities we can predict by using the competition uh, these uh, docking studies but uh, on the basis of docking study never say uh, you you uh, are going to claim it's going to be agonist or antagonist or partial agonist or partial antagonist Uh, because it can't predict after binding what your molecule is going to do we can't predict using docking studies and to do a docking studies so there are a number of uh, uh, softwares are available like uh, freely some are freely available like autodoc commercially available scoring the discovery studio molecular virtual docker there are so many by which you can conduct uh, next is homology modeling as its name indicate these modeling of a particular target we are doing when structure of that particular target is not available in the protein data bank so in that case we have to do a homology modeling means we have to do uh, create a model who is homologous uh, to that particular target so we are particularly using homology modeling when structure of that particular target is not available if structure is available there is no need to do uh, homology modeling right Uh, another most commonly used is nowadays is molecular dynamic studies and these studies particularly analyzing the physical movement of atoms and molecules means you are uh, going to give a simulations using a computers uh, and simulations uh, is creating an environment as that of the body environment where the actually uh, target exists so by using the uh, computers we are doing but to perform a molecular dynamics you should have the high performance computer facilities to give the simulations uh another studies which uh, you uh, most commonly used is a qsar study qsar study is a quantitative structure activity relationship and it uh, particularly predict the biological activity of a compound on the basis of their physiochemical characteristics or structural properties of that compounds and uh, by that one you can predict the biological activities uh, of unknown compounds also even you can predict toxicity also as well as biologically you can QSPR, QSTR toxicities also. Uh, computational toxicology uh, uh, yeah, by using some online web server or commercially available software, you can predict the toxicity profiles of the compounds. Uh, pharmacokinetic or toxicokinetic, you can predict by predicting the whether your molecule is going to uh, absorb orally, and if you're going to absorb. which of the uh, uh, cytochrome p450 isoenzymes are responsible for the metabolism whether it is going to be enzyme inducer or enzyme inhibitors 
uh, you can predict the bioavailabilities, you can predict the excretions, uh, all these uh, things you can predict using these computational techniques. So this is uh, uh, some of the uh, computational techniques which uh, are used in uh, drug discovery to save time and money. Uh, so I just give you overview. Next lectures uh, or next video I am going to discuss about what are the different steps to perform a docking studies. Thank you.